unlikely things to hear at Christmas. <laughs> oh, John, thank you so much for my electric toothbrush. <laughs> no, it's everything I wanted and more. Oh, you've got lots of nectar points on it. Good. <laughs> Yeah. Do the uh, fork and take a pew. <laughs> <laughs> this, one, this might run for a while. Yeah. Oh, Sarah, a holiday to Barbados? That's going to help in the fight against plaque. <laughs> it's Christmas. Today? <laughs> Are you sure? The shops have kept that very quiet. <laughs> ah. Oh, look, everyone's eating all the nuts I've bought. I should buy some more. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Leg or breast? I'd really rather you just put your clothes back on, Greg. <laughs> I'd just like to reassure everyone that the sponsorship deal will have no effect on this year's nativity. Now, Joseph, if you could just pop Jesus in the Pretter manger. <laughs> Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Mmm, Christmas with a vegan. <laughs> This is your Christmas and birthday present. Yes, it is a turkey with 16 candles stuck in it. <laughs> we always have a goose here at Christmas. I don't know why, really. It's conversation's terrible and it shits all over the floor. <laughs> no, we'll not calm down, Alfred. Did you hear what they were singing? Jingle bells, Batman smells. <laughs> not the original lyrics. They wrote that to hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a good tip for sprouts is to slice them very thinly, drizzle them in olive oil, throw them in the bin and drink a bottle of red wine. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes, I'm well good at charades. Put your top back on, Nan. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just wish that Monopoly lasted longer. <laughs> yeah, I've said it! <laughs> it's a shit game! <laughs> Yes, little Annabelle, I did say we were going to see the snowman, but I should have explained, the snowman is what I call my coke dealer. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is eggnog? <laughs> <laughs>